Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be um, testing out new products that I have. Um, I think I have four or five new products. So let's go ahead and just dive in. So I don't have a new eyebrow product, so I'm just going to be using my Benefit Precision Brow Pencil and just go ahead and do them. All right, so then I'm also going to prime my lids and I've been loving my AOA Studios um, concealer as an eye base. It is fantastic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my lids. So there, eyelids are all primed. So the next thing we're going to do is eyeshadow. So I have a lot of new eyeshadow palettes to use, but the one I'm going to use in today's video is the new Revolution Color Book um, CB04. Um, eyeshadow palette and it's got 40 professional eyeshadows and I'm absolutely in love with it so this is what it looks like for those of you who follow me on Instagram you've already seen it I did post it on there but it's just so so stunning and I love all the different pinks and purples I'm a big pink person so to have a whole palette just of pinks and purples I'm in love so this is what we're gonna use today So my camera kind of cut off for a second there, but all I've done so far was just take this color right here and focus it into the crease, and then take this color and use it to diffuse it upwards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue that on this eye. All right, so now that the other eye is complete, let's talk about the palette. It's really nice. There is a bit of fallout that you can see around, and I have um, knocked some of it off already. It seems to be one of those palettes that, like, the first layer doesn't have much pigment, but once you get by that, the pigment is honestly fantastic. So what I suggest is maybe, like, taking something and kind of wiping that first layer off so you can get to, like, the actual pigment, because this eye picked up a lot more pigment than this eye did. So do be wary of that. All right, so then the next shade that we're gonna take is this one right here, and we're gonna put that just in the outer corner. All right, so that darker shade is into the outer corner. I'm going to cut my crease and then we'll move on to the next shade. So I like to cut crease one at a time. I am going to take this beautiful shimmer right here and we're gonna put that into my inner corner. All right, so this is it for the eyeshadow look. I really do like this palette. It's super nice, but it's like I said, one of those palettes you kind of have to break through that first layer to get to the pigment. But beyond that, it's absolutely stunning and just the colors are beautiful. So I highly recommend this. It's $20 at Ulta or on a Revolution site. Go check it out. They have other color uh, stories as well. So yeah. So the next thing I have is this Hard Candy 16 hour camouflage foundation and it says it's oil free so i'm super excited about that i'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer and then we can go ahead and try this out all right so concealer is on so now we can try out this foundation i got mine in shade 1504 buff and so the back, i'm gonna read the back of this and it says hard candy camouflage full coverage foundation is an oil-free long wearing super smooth liquid makeup that lasts up to 16 hours 
glides on effort effortlessly, leaves skin looking naturally flawless without caking, creasing, or fading for hours. Lightweight formula offers full coverage yet feels weightless and comfortable with added vitamin E available in a wide range of buildable shades. I like that. So with this, I am going to do a wear test uh, since we're all kind of quarantined here in Vegas. I won't be able to go out and do anything, so I'll just kind of be checking in through out the day. So let's go ahead and try this on. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be my shade. It's a little pink. It might also be a little bit darker. We'll see. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit darker for me. I also really like this doe foot applicator. Super nice and soft. All right, so this is just the foundation so far. Um, there is a bit of a shade difference, but that was my fault, not the actual foundation. It does oxidize, so do be aware of that. But beyond that problem, it's actually super nice. It is really lightweight. It's a bit tacky, so it is gonna need set down. But other than that, it's actually super nice so far. I'm excited to see how this wears. So I'm gonna go ahead and powder my under eyes and do the rest of my makeup, and then I will be right back. Alright, so the rest of my makeup is done, so the next product that I have is this Stampin' Go Eyeliner by the brand Ebon New York, I think is how you pronounce it. But one side is a stamp on for a wing, and the other one is the actual eyeliner. So I'm super excited to try this. So I guess let's just go ahead in. I'm going to move you guys actually in closer for this. Alright, so let's go ahead and try this out. How's that look? Not bad. This one's raised up a little bit higher, but beyond that, they're actually pretty equal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish out the eyeliner. All right, so I'm not the best at eyeliner, so to keep that in mind, but honestly, this worked really well to help. Like, I obviously messed this one up a little bit, but I went back and fixed it, and it actually looks really good. I really like, and then plus the eyeliner part is actually fantastic, too. I really like the applicator of it. I don't know, it's just different than, like, my normal applicator, and I just, something about it I really, really like. I think it's just because it's a bit longer. So this is definitely a win. I'm pretty sure this was also, I think like four or five dollars. Not a half percent sure. I bought it a while ago. All right, so then the next thing that I have is an Essence Volume Boost Lash Primer. I've been seeing everybody using lash primer, so I thought I'd grab the hype and get on board with it. So I'm gonna go ahead in with my eyelash primer. 
It also smells really good. All right, so lash primer is on and dried. I'm going to just do the one eye for right now so you can see the difference. So I'm just going to also go in with my Essence Get Big Lashes mascara and just go ahead and do a coat or two of that. So I actually decided I think the other eye I'm going to do without the lash primer and see if there's much of a difference. So I'm just going to go ahead and with my mascara. Alright, so I'm hoping this is going to pick up on camera. But there is very much a difference between these two lashes. This is the one without. And this is the one with. And with this one, there's a lot more length to it. So I can definitely see difference. Alright, the next and final item we have is also from Hard Candy. And it's this Marilyn Monroe Syrup Kiss Lip Stain. Anybody who actually knows me knows that I am obsessed with Marilyn Monroe. And just to... If you didn't know, I these are all by my side right now. I have to hang them up. I have like three of these. And right above my makeup stand is actually a picture of her as well. I'm absolutely obsessed with Marilyn Monroe. So when I saw this, I thought it was so cute. They have a whole collection. So maybe I'll go grab the whole collection and try it out. But for right now, I just wanted to grab the lip stain. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, and then this one is in Signature Red because she's known for her red lips. Wow. This is what it looks like. That is red. All right, let's just go in with it. All right, so lip is on. First impression is that it actually smells really good. And the consistency of it, I really like, because it's kind of like a gloss, but not as sticky. Because it's called a Syrup Kiss Lip Stain, so I'm not 100% sure if it's like a lipstick, a gloss. I know it's a stain, obviously. It's gonna stain my lips. But I don't really know, like, what it is. So, I'm going to read off what it says on the packaging. Lip syrup is a girl's best friend. Non-sticky cushion packed with payoff and infused with rose ship. Syrup Kiss Luscious Formula will lock in color without drying out your lips for an iconic look. I mean, it looks fantastic. I'm not a huge red lipstick person, but 
I don't know, something about this one I really like. Maybe it's because it's Marilyn Monroe, maybe because it's a really good one. I'm not 100% sure, but I really like this and this really intrigues me to want to go back and buy the rest of the Marilyn Monroe collection. So yeah, also I just accidentally licked my lips and it also tastes good, so I suggest this, really cute. Alright, so for the foundation, I am going to check in a few more times throughout the day, but product-wise, that is everything I have, so I will see you in the first check. Alright, so this is the only check-in I'm going to do, just because I didn't realize how late it was when I started doing my makeup, but I'm pleasantly surprised by this foundation. I've had it on, I think it's about four hours now, and um, it hasn't creased very much, like, I'll come in. You can see that's not really creased. It did dry down quite a bit. It doesn't look horribly cakey, but a little em emphasized on my texture, uh, especially on this side. Like you can see a lot of that texture right here. But I don't think that's the foundation. The lip tint also has come off, like there's nothing left on there. And it's super cute. I really, really loved this i mean it you're not supposed to eat it but it tastes good it feels nice in the lips it doesn't feel very um heavy and the consistency of it is just very interesting it's not like a gloss but it's not a matte lipstick so i'm not 100 percent sure what it is um but but everything that i've done or used so far has been fantastic i did notice with this eyeliner though it does feel a little bit heavy on the eyes. I don't know if I just overdid it or what, but it feels a little bit heavy. So do be wary of that, but it definitely helped. Like you could always just use like this and then uh, use your favorite eyeliner to um, complete it. But everything else was really nice. So I highly suggest, honestly, I highly suggest this foundation. I'm pretty sure it was only like five bucks, I think, which is as much as the Wet n Wild one, which I also love the Wet n Wild. And you get a good bit of coverage with this and it paired amazing with my concealer so everything i got was very very good all right so that is all i have for today's video like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye